Hello, my name is Jillian Gansley. Welcome to my presentation on cryptococcosis. I apologize for any unprofessional qualities about this video. The microphone would not work on my laptop, so I have to record this on my phone. There are actually seven different fungi that can cause cryptococcosis. They are Cryptococcus neoformans, Cryptococcus deneoformans, Cryptococcus gatti, Cryptococcus bacillus sporus, Cryptococcus deuterogatti, Cryptococcus tetragatti, and Cryptococcus decagatti. However, this is a fairly new classification system. As such, you'll mostly hear literature talk about Cryptococcus neoformans and Cryptococcus gatti. They also happen to be the two most common infectious agents. These fungi belong to the Basidiomycota phylum, which includes club fungi and some yeast, the Trimelomycetes class, a class of dimorphic fungi including some other fungal pathogens and, a gel and jelly fungi, Trimelomycetes order, mostly either gelatinous fruiting bodies or yeast-like anamorphic, that is, asexual forms, and the Cryptococcus I family, mostly compromised, comprised of yeast-like forms. One of the main virulence factors of the fungus is its capsule. Capsule is made of a lot of the protein you see in the upper right-hand corner of your screen called glucuronoxylominin, or GXM for short. This protects the fungus, interferes with the maturation of dendritic cells, prevents phagocytosis by macrophages, impairs leukocyte migration, inhibits TNF alpha release, promotes l selectin shedding in neutrophils, which in turn interferes with signaling and migration, and exacerbates the effect of the human immunodeficiency virus's effect on lymphocytes. The fungus can also produce melanin, which helps protect it from oxidative damage, phagocytosis, microbicidal peptides, and some antifungals. Enzymes produced by the fungus hydrolyze host cell membranes, promote accumulation of immature dendritic cells and non-perfective T2 immune response, and bolsters the dissemination of the fungi from the lungs to the brain. The average annual number of cases in the United States is 0.4 to 1.3 cases per 100,000 individuals. In the population with AIDS, this jumps to 2 to 7 per 100,000 individuals with an approximate 12% fatality rate. Globally, the number of cases 1 million, 625,000 deaths. Most cases occur in immunocompromised individuals, especially those with HIV, such as those represented in the graph in the corner there. Infections do occur in immunocompetent individuals, but those are rare. Now for an abridged history. Cryptococcus neoformans was first isolated from peach juice in 1894, and then later set that same year from a tibia lesion. The earliest known sample of Cryptococcus gatti was isolated from hip tumor that same year as well. 1914, the neurotropic, that is, migrating to the brain, quality of these fungi was recognized. In 1951, the environmental source of C. neoformans so identified and C. gaddy's environmental source was identified in 1990. In 2015, the division of the cryptococcus complex into seven species was pr proposed. All seven species can be found globally. The map here shows C. neoformans in particular. C. neoformans is more concentrated in Europe, C. gatti is more concentrated in Europe, Australasia, and Asia, and C. deuterogatti is most commonly found in the Pacific Northwest, Vancouver Island, and British Columbia. These fungi can be found in trees, the soil around it, and bird droppings. Cryptococcus neoformans is especially found in pigeon droppings. Symptoms and disease progression. Desiccated yeast first enters the lungs 
where in the alveolar spaces they rehydrate. Symptoms of a pulmonary infection include cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, and fever. From there, they split, spread via the bloodstream and may cross the blood-brain barrier and infect the nervous system. Symptoms of a central nervous system infection include headache, fever, photosensitivity, neck pain, and stiffness, nausea and vomiting, and confusion and altered behavior. General range of incubation is 2-13 to 13 months after inhalation with 6-7 to seven months being average, but there have been cases where it has been as short as 2 weeks and as long as 3 years. The duration of symptoms is also in my research been rather ambiguous. Immune response. Complement fixing performed by cryptococcal capsules creates chemotactic factors that can attract leukocytes that kill the organism, but this may be avoided if the deposits that attract them, C3B and C3BI, are properly hidden. The GXM antibodies can oxidize the fungus, but the capsule may block the FC portion of the antibodies. The strongest immune response is usually created by circulating antigens, usually shed GXM. Injection of antigens directly into the bloodstream of experimental animals has shown to induce a regulatory T-cell response. Diagnosis The most common way this is done is by taking a sample, usually of cerebral spinal fluid, and culturing it. Another way of diagnosis is via microscopy, where tissue is stained, often with Indian ink, and examined for yeast spreading. Alternatively, it may be done using an antigen detection test. The three tests most particularly used are latex agglutination, an enzyme immunoassay, or a lateral flow assay. Cryptococcus eoformans and Cryptococcus gatti can be differentiated by culturing on a cannabinoglycine bromothymol bra, blue CGB agar. Neoformans will leave the agar yellow green, whereas gatti will turn the agar blue. Treatment and prevention. There is no vaccine and it is ubiquitous in make nature makes avoidance difficult, but most people who inhale the fungus or the spores will never get sick, and cryptococcosis cannot be contracted from other people. Immunocompromised individuals should take medicine to bolster their immune system and get targeted screening, especially if they are about to begin antiretroviral treatment. For those with asymptomatic or with mild to moderate pulmonary infections, the typical treatment is is six or more months of fluconazole. For people with severe pulmonary infections or infections of the nervous system, the initial treatment is typically amphotericin B and fluconazole, followed by a course of fluconazole. Recent research. Current research is underway into the efficacy of sertraline, may know by its branding, Zoloft, it's a mood stabilizer, being used in tandem with fluconazole for asymptomatic cases. Other research that recently occurred around 2009-2012 centered around a gene named ERG11. This gene codes for a protein azole's target. In some cases, it had experienced a missensitation and resulted in azole treatment failure in some individuals. There's a lot of research going on right now into what genes exactly contribute to the formation of this polysaccharide capsule and how the cell wall might somehow be linked to it. Other research is on how metal homeostasis, oxygen and carbon dioxide gases, and light sensitivity affect the virulence of the fungus. Thank you for watching my presentation.